Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today it is a mid-December day here in Southwest Florida. It is a chilly 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, overcast day, it was chilly this morning, it was, it was cold. It was, uh, I think, 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I put my long sleeve shirt on. <laughs> now it's starting to get a little warm though. Anyway, uh, it, and I'm also a little bit sad. And the reason for that is because uh, it's getting close to Christmas and I need to head back to the Midwest to visit family. So uh, I've got a lot of orchids that are blooming or what's, what's really disappointing me a little bit that are ready to bloom. And I'm not sure whether I'm, I'm going to see them. Hopefully they'll still be blooming by the time I get back. But I want to highlight a few of those today. I want to show you some. So I'm, I'm going to show you some that are behind me. But then I've got some that are behind me and then mounted up high in my pergola. I've got some that are mounted on the trees that I can't, can't bring here. So I will um, get behind the camera and show you some of those. But first, let me start off. Uh, with some of these that I have behind me. So this is, and I've shared this with you before, um, this is amazing Thailand. And as opposed to the previous bloom that I had on this, uh, on this plant, uh, there's only one flower here. It is a great flower. Lots of flowering, really nicely fragrant. Uh, the fragrance uh, reminds me of, of roses. And, uh, and it's got, but it's a good vigorous plants. There's a couple of new pseudobulbs growing out. Just a wonderful plant that I really like. The flowers, I should also say, are pretty long lived. So I'm really happy uh, with, uh, with this plant. And I've crossed this onto some other orchid flowers unsuccessfully, but I haven't crossed anything onto this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I have a few days to figure out what crosses I'm gonna do, but I gotta get working on it pretty quickly. And the thing is, I don't mind making the crosses on an orchid like this because what happens is you make a cross and the flower fades very quickly, but I'm not going to be here to enjoy it anyway, so it's, it's fine. Uh, the next one that I want to share with you is right here. And this is, I got to look at the, look at the tag, so this is um, Star of Siam, and the best flower is uh, right here. Here. So this is a uh, another um, Thai, Thailand related uh, flower. Uh, you can see right here there's a seed capsule forming um, right here. So I have crossed this um, to a, the previous bloom. I did cross this off to another plant in a friend's collection. But this is a really nice, I'm not it's got just a real subtle fragrance, but this has some nice um, orange and copper tones to it. It's got a nice yellow throat. Uh, no flaring or not much flaring that I can see, but still a nice flower, vigorous plant, I think. No, I don't have any more blooms coming out on this. Uh, it might be time to repot it. It's kind of reached the end of its pot, but it's growing uh, very nicely. I should also mention that this one and this one, and I think the next one that I'm going to uh, show you is I purchased at RF Orchids uh, a couple of years ago. All right, so let me put this guy back, and I'm going to share next this one with you. And this is, let me get it down. This guy, as you can see, is loaded. So this is uh, Tainan Gold. And the cultivar is Golden, golden Oriole. And this is, I don't think there's any unopened flowers on this plant. I've shared this with you previously. You know, I got a flower that is small in here. I bet something pollinated this. It's starting to shrivel up. I got a flower in there that's kind of small. But this thing is just loaded, you know, all over the plant. Um, and this is a great, uh, vigorous plant. I have used this in uh, some of the crosses that I've made previously. And this, as you might imagine from the name, where it's a Tainan Gold, is also a, uh, an orchid that was bred in Thailand. And I think it's confusing because the parent 
of this one, I think is Tainan City, and this is Tainan Gold. So I have a hard time keeping some of these Thai names straight. This plant is also, this is a beautiful plant. Um, I really like the striking colors that are in the lip compared to the uh, yellow in the petals and sepals. Uh, this is, has a lot of Toshi Aoki uh, in the background uh, with some really slight flaring in the, uh, the petals. The fragrance of this, I had described this at one point as the fragrance of this flower being a little plasticky, but I think that was only in the, um, in the new flowers. I think the, the, the fragrance, the scent has matured a little bit, so all I'm getting now is this I'm just getting the sweetness, a really light floral uh, sweetness that's associated with this plant. All right, I'm going to put this, this is loaded. This is a great plant. And yes, I am going to cross onto this. Um, the, all of the flowers are open. Some of them are past. I mean, this one is, is clearly past. This thing has been blooming for a few weeks. But let me put this back right here. And I do want to show you a lot of what I have is disappointing because I'm not sure whether I'm gonna see this open. So this is a new um, orchid that I, that I purchased from um, Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads. This is uh, Mantha Tip Gold, number one. And I think I'll probably see this flower open. Um, so I may do one more video <laughs> before I leave. The problem is I'm, I'm probably not going to post these videos till I'm back in the Midwest where it's cold and I'm not going to have these guys around me anymore. But I'll try, to, I'll try to maybe record one more tour of my orchid collection. But this will be open. Uh, I think this will probably be open uh, maybe tomorrow or another day and I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, but this is a new uh, a new purchase from Sundance Orchid and Bromeliads. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, what I need to do now, and I've got, I've got a lot that I wanna show you. So what I'm gonna do now is get behind the camera and show you either some blooms that are close to open or open that I can't move to this location. Okay, so let me get behind the camera and let's move on. Okay, and we're back. So this is uh, some, and some of these plants I know the name of, and I'll be able to say to you some of them I don't. Uh, and this, if you may be able to tell, this is catasetum. This is a catasetum, and this happens to be catasetum gram form. It's gram Ford. It's bloomed for me, or is it gram wood? I'll look it up. Um, and this has bloomed for me twice. Uh, already this season and I think this is the last bloom. The plants are starting to, the leaves are starting to senesce, it's starting to uh, decline and go a little dormant but sometimes these things that's when they produce the flowers. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to see the flowers on this or not. As we move up here and some of these are going to be kind of tough to see so there's a couple of blooms right here. This is one of my favorites. This is Cornerstone the cultivar is compass and there's a couple of blooms that are pretty close to opening and then there's some more blooms at the back side of this plant where i have the same thing where i've got two blooms huge blooms they're really colorful and these uh, these hopefully i'll see and i'll be able to show you uh, before i go as we move over a little bit and i don't know if how we're going to be able to see this up here but there's other than not well so there's a couple of, there's some blooms. I think you can see them right there. This is on a Cattleya that I haven't seen bloom yet. So this is first bloom on a plant that's about two years old. So I'm pretty excited about this and hopefully I won't miss it. Hopefully I'll be back by the time these plants are blooming. So I think that's all I wanted to show you uh, in the pergola. So let's move over to another part of my my garden and I want to show you up here this is a Vanda uh, Selena and this is the first bloom on this this is the largest bloom spike that I've had on this small Vanda but I'm not sure how many flowers I'm gonna see open since you know when I'm here but it's uh, just a really nice flower on this 
Vanda Selena, and this came from RF Orchid. Um, actually, uh, Michael Coronado gifted me this plant when I, I helped him carry his plants out to his car at the end of a show, and he was happy to have the help, and he gifted me this really nice Vanda. So, Michael, thanks. Uh, the other thing is while I'm here, okay, here we go, here we go, right there before it goes out of focus. All right, so this is a Monarch uh, larvae that's in the J position. So there'll be a chrysalis there tomorrow. And Monarch's been going crazy in my, uh, in my garden. And uh, they got a lot, of, a lot of chrysalises all around, all over my orchids. Okay, let's move on a little bit right here. So here you see, let me take, give you an overview of this plant to start. So this is one of uh, my mycais. And this is a really nice one. This, um, this was given to me. Actually, I just picked this up. We had a mycai cut up. These plants get huge. And my local orchid society, someone brought in a plant that was, that was, I don't know, it was as big as a garbage can. It was just huge. And they took a, a, a chain, not a chainsaw, but a, uh, I don't know, they took some mechanical cutting devices to this poor plant and they cut it up into, must have been 50 pieces and, and about every other person got one and I was lucky enough to get a piece. And it was pretty small, but it has since grown uh, incredibly. So it is loaded. This is the first time it's bloomed that much. Every year they get bigger, every year they get more blooms on it. And I can't get around it to show you the other side, but there's blooms all over this plant here and uh, there's a tree in the way so I can't get around and show you the other side but anyway I wanted to show you the, the this mycai that is just loaded and let's see if I can get in for a, a nice well it doesn't do it justice justice the uh, the individual flowers are just really uh, nice as well but just a nice flour for this plant all right let's keep on moving on I'm going to try not to trip over anything as I move through some of the orchids, uh, some of the other orchids that are starting to bloom that I may or may not see. I think I'll probably see uh, this one right here. So this is Yang, Sun, Yang Kung Sun. Um, this is a nice Cattleya that's bloomed for me in the past, but each one of those sheaths on the plant, on this plant, and I think there are maybe four or five sheaths has between one and three uh, bloom spikes on it. So you can see the size of some of these, um, some of these bloom spikes here. This is going to get, you know, this is, this is going to be quite a show and hopefully, I'm not sure if I'll see any blooms before I go, but hopefully I'll see the, the tail end of these blooms. All right, moving on a little bit. Here is one of my favorite dendrobiums and this is Wu Lang. And this is some. This is a plant that is mounted on this palm right here. It's been there for a few years. I even actually have on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it right there in the middle. Um, there's a keiki that's coming off of this um, this cane right here. And I, I got to pull it off and move it, even though I don't need any more of these things. These things grow like crazy, and they keep on producing keikis and new flowers. I actually cut a huge branch. A huge cane off of one of my my largest Wu Lang plant, and it's putting out bloom spikes. I got a big cane. I cut it off, sat it on my bottom shelf. Maybe I'll show it to you. All right. The one thing, oh, I'm not sure. I got to move this chair out of the way to show you this, and you're not going to be, see, be able to see it very well. Well, let me adjust there, so I think you can see it. This is Encyclia tampensis from this big plant that's right down there. And this is not the type of year that they bloom, but I have a bloom spike growing on this plant right here. So I am definitely gonna try to uh, pollinate this. I hopefully will see one, of the, one or a few of the other blooms open. There's not a whole lot of blooms on this plant right now. It was loaded uh, a few months ago when it was the right time of the year. Oh, since I'm close, I'm gonna show you, I will show you this a little closer up because this is this is Yang Kong Sung right here again. But look at those, look at the number of blooms on this. Okay, I'm distracted. This is what happens to me. All right, so back to the uh, Encyclia tampensis. That's right there, and that's doing, that's doing pretty well. I'm probably gonna have to take that plant out and, and divide it, cut it up a little bit. 
Okay, moving on a little bit. This is another new acquisition from Sundance Orchid and Bromeliads, and this is um, this is Kenneth Bivens, um, and this is something. It was it, it was in spike when I got it, so I didn't I didn't really uh, I'm not special enough to deserve this, but these flowers have opened, and it seems to be doing uh, pretty well. So this is a plant I like. This actually belongs to uh, the plant propagator Junior. I'm just holding on to it for her, but really nice um, flowers on this. And again, I can't. I wish I could take credit for growing this plant to this point, but I bought it when it was just about to bloom, so I didn't do anything. Okay, moving on. Just a few more, I promise. So moving on over here is another new well first the first bloom on this plant and i've got two blooms on that spike and one bloom coming out there and um i think i'm gonna see this uh and i don't even remember the name of this plant but i'll i'll probably be able to get you another um another video on this plant once it blooms but this i've had this uh just for a short time probably for um maybe a year, year and a half, but it's been very vigorous. I think I got this from Carmela, and they have good stock. I'm not really sure I like the quality of the plants that they, that they sold to me, but the stock plants that when they get them, are, I think they're good. They have good source of plant material. Okay, so um, again, another one, another plant that is, um, that's in Spike and about ready to uh, bloom for me. And then moving over here, this is another one of my Vandas that is growing. And I got this a few years ago, and this is the first time that I've seen a bloom come out on this plant. Uh, the name of the plant is right there. These are the blooms on this, small yellow blooms. I couldn't smell any fragrance on this, but other people have taken a sniff and they say, yes, it is fragrance, fragrant and it's, and it's nice. So um, Vanda, really um, nice, sunny, uh, yellow color. And uh, heck, I got it to bloom. The Vanda is doing really well on this tree. Roots just go up, they go down and it seems to be doing well. I also want to show you while I'm right here, this is a Rinko Stylish Gigantia, and, and this is a bloom spike that's coming out of there. This I will see. This is small enough so that I got plenty of time to make it back here and see this bloom. This, I should also say that this Vanda right here has been blooming for a long time. It still has a lot more blooms to open on the top, so this will probably still be blooming by the time I get back. I got another one here. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this, but there's some more blooms coming out on this. And I think, again, I'll be able to see this bloom as well uh, when, by the time I get back. That should last a few weeks. Moving over here, this is Chia Lin. And Chia Lin has uh, also got three blooms on the single bloom spike right here. And this is a long-lasting, really fragrant, um, dark Cattleya. And I think this will probably be... Um, still in flower by the time I get back. So we'll see how this one looks uh, when I get back. Finally, well, I say finally, but there's more. Um, so here, single bloom coming out on, this is clear stars. That is behind that leaf is a clear stars um, flower uh, capsule, seed capsule. So just a single flower right there. I'm not, I'm, I hope I hope it'll be still bloomed by the time I get back, but this is a um, Nidosa cross, but it's a really big flower, uh, and I like it. And I'm very excited, at least, to see what kind of plants I get out of that seed capsule and the cross that I made. With a, I've crossed it with another big cattleya. Um, and then while I'm here, let me sh show this picture to you. So this is a... Um, dendrobium and you can't see as you follow this back you really can't see it but this is just or maybe you can it's just cut i just cut it off of a plant that's right next to me and i threw it on the bottom shelf of this plant stand behind my shed and it is just all those are flower spikes 
that are coming out of it. I wanted, I don't know what I wanted, um, but it's going to flower and it's going to be fun uh, to see this. What I'm hoping maybe is to get some more cakeys and to get some more plants out of that. So anyway, that's the final thing I wanted to show you. So that's all I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed uh, my video and um, I hope to again take one more video of the uh, of the plants and of the flowers uh, in a few days and hopefully we'll see a few more open ones all right that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed my video if you did and you want to keep on seeing them it would help me out if you could click on like share and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber all right that's all i have for today again i hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating <music>